Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I just want to take a minute to show you a couple of cool tools to help you with modeling sloping and skewed framing in your Tecla model. Now these tools have been in Tecla for quite a while, so I'm always surprised to find out how many people don't know that they're there. So let's take a look at what they are and how to use them. The idea is that you can go ahead and model in everything flat as you see it in a plan drawing. So here I've modeled in a small canopy roof and an overall building roof, and they're all just flat. Once I have those in, I can use magnetic construction objects to help move and adjust their position in the model. If I go to my Edit tab, I can find them under Construction Object, and first I'm going to talk about planes. So when I activate the plane tool, what you do is you go ahead and you pick the corners, kind of like you're modeling in a plate, and then you get this transparent plane in the model. If you double click on it, you can see that there is a magnetic property that we can enable. So if I check that option and make this plane magnetic, now what happens is any parts whose end handles touch that plane will follow it as it moves. So if I go ahead and use a move command and I move this plane up, say, four feet, you can see how all of the material along that plane adjusts with it. So this is a great way to adjust large groups of parts that are all sloping at the same angle or all at the same rate. But what if I have more complex framing, something like hip and valley or drainage points or something like that? With that, a construction line would do that job a lot better. Now, a lot of people already use construction lines for helping them lay out things in the model. But if they open up the properties of a construction line, it also has a magnetic option. So what I'll do is I'll make my extension a little bit smaller so we don't get so much overlap. I'll turn on the magnetic option for these construction lines. And then what you do is you just model them in along the ridge of wherever you're going to have the sloping members. And I'm just going from column to column laying out these construction lines. Once you have them in, it's kind of like the same thing with the plane. You can highlight those lines, you can grab their end handles, and then I can use a move command. And if I move these parts up, say six feet, everything that touches that line adjusts. So as you can see, you can create a varying rate of slope for any of the members touching that line. So by using this tool, you can really lay out some complex framing very, very quickly when it comes to your model objects. Now one last thing I'd like to show you, although it's not creating a new magnetic construction object, it's using magnetism on your grid system. When you double click on your grid, you do have the option to, to make this magnetic. And what that means is that any parts that are on that grid plane will follow it just like they do with the uh, manually created uh, plane or the manually created construction lines. So if I enable this magnetic grid plane and I tell this grid to be magnetic, any changes that I make to the coordinates, whether they're through the dialog box or through direct modification, will adjust all of the parts on that plane. So let's take a look at that real quick. I'll come around to the back of the model. I'll enable my direct modification, and when I take this grid line and drag it, you can see how all of the parts on that grid line also adjust. So by using this tool, it's very easy, not necessarily to lay out your building, but when you have to deal with model changes, such as grids uh, changing their spacing or floors changing their elevation, making a magnetic grid helps make those changes a lot faster. So hopefully this video gives you some good ideas. For any additional help, you can go ahead and visit our website, or you can contact your local support desk. Thanks for watching.